Welcome back to our series on whiplash injuries. I'm Dr. Jake Kaufman, and today we're exploring the typical healing times for whiplash-associated disorders, otherwise known as whiplash injuries, and the various factors that can influence recovery. Understanding healing time is crucial for both healthcare providers and patients. It helps set realistic expectations and helps to guide treatment. However, it's important to note that recovery from a whiplash is highly individual and can be influenced by numerous factors. Let's start with typical healing times based on the severity of the injury. Your grade one injury often resolve within days to a few weeks, with most patients returning to normal activities within one to two months. While with our grade two whiplash, recovery typically takes two to three months, though some patients may experience symptoms for up to six months and others might recover quicker. Your grade three whiplash injury is considered the more severe case and it can take three to six months or longer to heal and some patients may have persistent symptoms beyond a year while some may recover quicker. Lastly, your grade four injuries, which include oftentimes a fracture or dislocation that requires surgery and they have extended recovery periods of six to 12 months or more. These timelines provide a general guide and it's crucial to understand that individual recovery can vary significantly. While the majority of individuals recover and have no long-standing effects after a whiplash injury, chronic pain occurring after a whiplash injury is more common than previously thought. It's estimated that 30 to 50% of patients may develop chronic symptoms, with around 16% reporting ongoing severe pain-related disability. Given these statistics, Early identification of risk factors for poor recovery is essential. Some of these factors that can influence recovery include our mental health, our age and previous injury, initial symptom severity, how we process pain, and even our work can influence our recovery. This is the biopsychosocial aspect of a whiplash injury, and it doesn't just pertain to whiplash injuries. Our level of initial injury is going to influence our outcome but our past experience with, with pain and injury and the environment that we are in also plays a huge role. This is why patient-centered care is key when it comes to recovering from a whiplash injury or really any injury. We have to consider the individual's understanding of pain and recovery expectations. And when we do this, it results in better outcomes. As healthcare providers, our role is to consider all these factors in developing a comprehensive individualized treatment plan to help speed up recovery and make sure that it's long standing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and we'll continuing with our next video and it will be out soon.